Good morning, Angels. We are about to react and review Charlie's Angels Season 1, Episode 9, Bullseye. Sit tight. Hi, Angels. It's Warwick here from Retro QTV, and I know you don't have to tell me it has been a long minute since we last met. But you know, life. Anyway, I'm super excited to be watching Bullseye with you. Uh, this is a reaction video and uh, we'll wrap it up with a review at the end to see what we all thought. Um, now listen, I, I normally wear my merch, which is my Charlie's Angels Warhol inspired t-shirt. However, um, it is a little bit chilly today. So I thought, uh, why not <laughs> why not wear a look inspired by uh, one of the episodes of Charlie's Angels season one. So if you can guess what this look is from which episode and which angel, I'll give you a shout out in the next, uh, you know, an upcoming video. So um, I'm all set. I've got my vino. Cheers. It's Saturday night as I'm filming this. Uh, I've got my candy. Might end up turning into a mukbang video. Uh, and let's start watching, huh? Okay, shooting range at the army barracks. <laughs> well, <laughs> hence the name Bullseye. Kind of makes sense. All right, so it's an all women's uh, all women's army. Do they still do that anymore? They must be. Um, it's all mixed now, right? Like you can army's army, right? All right, so the girls are moaning and bitching about you know Sergeant Billings, who is. Um, oh, hang on a minute. There's a sniper on the roof. Huh. Hmm. <gasps> Well, I mean, her brain should be blown out. But anyway, uh, that's kind of shocking. All right. They have s set the scene for uh, a very dramatic open with a uh, clearly corrupt sergeant, what she doing? who I'm assuming is the aforementioned Sergeant Billy. Well, when will she be done with that thing? Mm, that's not oh. singing. She's um, chanting, and we don't know when Very she'll... 70s. She's put herself into a deep hypnotic... Okay, Brie. Mm. Now, look, I... That's not very professional. Can you imagine if you just, like, plonked yourself up on the coffee table at work with your feet out and decided to start, uh, you know, doing Buddhist chants? I know that they're all friends and all, uh, but, you know, it is a high-end detective agency where they bill by the thousands an hour. I guess anything goes at the Townsend Agency. You'll work out of the base hospital which should provide an easy contact point for Kelly and Jill. Uh-huh. I'm not even going to ask where we're going. So Mary Jo Walker was shot with an M16. No trace of the weapon. Okay, got that. All right, so the angels have to go in undercover because the female MPs are way too well known to do the job. Here we go. Let's see if Jill ends up asking a discreet question or if she gets told to mind her own beeswax because she's being too pushy with the questions. I'm going to guess uh, B. She's she, she's, push, she's pushing her luck. Hey, you sure do ask a lot of questions. Oh, it's just I want to be sure that I don't do whatever she did, you know? <laughs> I told ya. I told ya. Oh, my God, it happens every time. Jill is as subtle as a fucking sledgehammer. Well, hello, Doctor. Uh, Dr. Camlin was the, um, like the chief, you know, the chief in uh, Chips. If we could get you on a recruiting poster, uh, we'd be turning him away. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Listen, it's uh, part of my job to show you around the hospital, but uh, I'd rather get you better acquainted with the whole base operation. Including yours, Dr. Cameron? Yeah, well, especially mine. Uh-huh. Quite doesn't waste any time. Talk about um, bedside manner. Slow down, Doctor. She just, just arrived. <laughs> Give the girl a minute. Maybe there's something in his office that links the two of them. I'm going to go by around 8 o'clock if you can distract Kelly's me. snooping so again. Of course I can. A Company, 4th Battalion, Corporal Sedgwick speaking. This is Captain Barr, Battalion Headquarters. I want those reports immediately. Yes, Captain, but there's no one else here. I said immediately, soldier. Yes, Captain. Listen, they want these files up at Battalion right away. Can you keep an eye on things till I get back? Sure. Thank you. What? New private, wouldn't you send her up there with the reports? Why would you leave her in charge? Okay, don't make any sense. I'll be like, listen, Missy, shuffle these reports up to Captain Barb. Okay, what's she looking at? I don't get it. 
They always do those close-ups of the files, and I'm like, what's happening? She's got to get busted. She always does. What is this, some petty cash receipts? That room is off limits. I thought so. That's why I wanted to check it out. Oh, nice it's safe, Kelly. Shooter. He's not buying it, though. That new private Garrett. What do you know about her? Billings, we may have a problem. Who's gonna do it good anyway? You ready? Ha ha. Oh! Ow! Sergeant! Jill! Too much muscle. What's the problem? I think I took Sergeant Billings too literally. She's hurt. How bad is it? It's a boo boo. Maybe we better go to the hospital. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> Maybe we well, better right. go to the hospital. <laughs> Every time she went to the hospital, she always saw a Dr. Canlon. Have you met him? Uh, yeah. Very nice. Very attractive. <laughs> so it won't be that much of a hardship oh, yeah. for you to find out a little more about him. Mm -hmm. No, um, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah. He might be a suspect. Doesn't mean you can't have a good time. Hang on. Is this another wardrobe repeat from Lady Killer? The previous episode? If I'm right, I have a feeling then that wardrobe is not the issue. Quite possibly Miss... Oops. Quite possibly Miss Jackson couldn't be f***ed with wardrobe fittings, so they just had to recycle them, because that's now the third time I've seen that. Okay. Moving on. The last thing I need in here is some loudmouth drunk. Shoot. <gasps> Easy, Tiger. Oh, he has a short fuse. The Garrett Broad. You done anything about that yet? I will this morning. We have a gas. So they're in cahoots. You will not put your masks on until you hear the command, ladies, don your protective masks. At ladies? Time, How about officers? You will do so they're about to do some like gas mask um, uh, drill. And Move the girls have to wait until it's already full of smoke before they put their masks on. on. Oh, what? Something's wrong with Kelly's mask. He's tampered with it. Oh, look, he doesn't give a fuck. He nearly killed her. Why didn't the Enderton take? I don't know. Well, there's a very good reason why it didn't take. The expiration date on this stuff is April 1st, 1975. Where did you get this? Did you get this from the supply cabinet? Oh, yes. Expired medicine. Oopsie. We'll go over to Medivac right now and pull him. Don't ask me why, just do it. He's in on it. Oh, what happened to the Hippocratic Oath, Dr. Canlon? What did you have me check Jenny out for anyway? Because yesterday when she was going into cardiac arrest, she pleaded with him not to give her that medicine. Now, it was almost as if she knew the medicine was bad. Because she did. What are you getting at? Well, suppose Canlon also knew when he was putting on an act. I don't follow you. Okay, look, let's run out of mm -hmm. Now, we have a connection between Billings and Canlon, right? Yeah. Only we don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Except that it's profitable. Yeah, and there is another connection. Now, Jenny was in medical supply, uh -huh. and Mary Jo Walker was headed for that very same unit as soon as she got out of basic. Okay, what if Canlon mm -hmm. and Billings were buying bad medicine? Uh -huh. Why? Well, for profit. The only thing is, how would they cover the purchase records? Not hard. No? Not if you have somebody working in medical supply. Oh, I see. So Billings finds um, cooperative uh, privates to go work in medical supply to fudge the books when he buys the expired medicine to ship off overseas. Only this batch happened to end up in emergency and now he's been busted. Mm -hmm. So Bree is here to put the squeeze on Jenny. Sometimes the best thing they could do would be to tell somebody else about it. 
Oh God, I mean, I want to confess, Sabrina's voice and just the way that she... I could, but I can't. It's a safe place. You can, Jenny. You can. I understand that. For now. Oh. You just remember, if you feel like talking... I do, Brie. I want to talk. I'm here. Sabrina Duncan, please. That's a nice scene, huh? I think I'll give it another look. I mean, maybe there's something you missed. Garrett? Jill. You see the KP roster yet? No, why? Shouldn't even ask. I take it all back. Drawing and quartering is too good for Charlie. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, poor Kelly. Sadistic, totally insensitive male chauvinist pig. Charlie Townsend is a no good. Did you say something? Oh, no, I was just thinking about someone who used to be a friend. Oh, did you get a Jane letter? In a matter of speaking. Hi, Charlie. Kelly, better get a big fat bonus for this. Well, are you sure? Bank woman. It was registered to Sergeant Billings. He ordered it destroyed in Vietnam, so he must have kept it as a souvenir. Uh oh. Caught red handed, and Jill is about to be too. F me. That girl. Private detective means you do your detecting privately. Why does she always get busted? Right, sit down. Okay, what do you know? Sit down. Talk. Start singing, Jill. Mm hmm. Two of you going through my office. Yeah. The other one chasing after Candler. Should have figured this out before. Hmm. Working together, aren't you? No flies on you. One of you is all I need. What do you mean by that? I'll take my chances. Where's the money? Oh, yeah. I'll be saying do some double cross too, but we keep it all. <gasps> Don't do it! What about you? It doesn't make he sense. He could have please, scrammed in a car. And you believe him? Oh no, look, I'm sorry. But we just gotta take the chance. I'm with you, Bree. Don't don't trust that guy as far as I could throw him. Well, I can use these lieutenant's bars to scare up a rifle, preferably one with a sniper scope. <laughs> what am sniper I gonna be doing scope. All this time? You're gonna go over to the motor pool and hotwire Jeep. General Green is not gonna like this, he goes by the book. Oh, so do I. Just to him, so you're a different book. <laughs> and what does your book say? My book says, we uh -huh. now. Now means now. I like his style, but I, I tell you what, if I pick teams, I've said it before and I will say it again, Sabrina Duncan is the first choice. I mean, hotwire a car, get me a sniper scope and a rifle. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I had a girl, Brie. Come on now, take a deep breath and let it out easy. Good shot! Good shot, I was aiming at his shoulder. <laughs> At least she didn't kill him. It's jammed! Okay, well that was lucky. One shot and the fucking thing's jammed. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Let's get the baddie. I love it. Come on girls, how are you going to stop the plane? What are you going to do? That looks like they're really driving that. Are they? Are they really driving? Oh, what are they gonna do? Like, is one of them gonna climb on top? No. They are not. I can't do it anymore! Oh, God! <gasps> oh, dear. Kaboom. <laughs> Thank you, Brie. Thank you, Charlie. We know. Oh, we know. <laughs> well, let's put it this way, Charlie. The next time duty calls, let's let it call somebody uh -huh. else. Huh? Well, Angels, I thought you'd love the military life. I'm very surprised. I'm not as surprised as you're going to be. You'll see. Hey, come in. It's open. <laughs> oh, Angels, what's this about a surprise? You, Charlie Townsend. 
Well, yes, yes, but what can you... Some girls I know told me that you really know how to show a girl a good time. They wanted your address from General Green's file, but I wouldn't give it to them. I decided to save you for myself. Save you for yourself? Then there must be some mistake. No mistake. I got a two-week pass. And me and you will never have to leave the house. Ha! <laughs> no, 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 wait. Not, not, what are... Angels! Oh. Hey, have a great time, Charlie. We want to hear all about it, because we know you love the military. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, because that is ageist. Um, however... That was quite funny. You and me will never have to leave the house. <laughs> what did you guys think? I really liked it. I thought this was a really good episode. Very strong episode, actually. I, I liked the setup. Um, I mean, we knew who the killer was at the get-go, so there was no mystery there, but that's fine because we still didn't know why they were, what their motivation was, and that was the role of this episode to sort of uncover that. Um, I loved uh, the assignments, you know, uh, Jill and Kelly going undercover, Kelly being the sharpshooter, um, Brie being the, the nurse, which makes sense because, of, you know, she used to be on the rookies, but, you know, she was, she plays, she plays a nurse real good. She really does. Um, I liked how there was that dynamic and that chemistry between um, Sabrina and the doctor. They probably could have gone a bit deeper with that relationship. I mean, it was very superfluous. It was very much on the surface. And I guess they didn't have a lot of time. They were going to spend, you know, showing us how Sabrina's heart was broken. It would have been nice to see her care for him a little bit more than she did. Uh, clearly, Billings was a, a, a like an asshole from the get-go. So he was a typical kind of baddie, you know, no surprises there. Uh, great action sequences. We had like a blown-up plane. We had Sabrina and uh, the crew driving, you know, in that jeep intercepting the um the plane we had that interesting plot twist about the um me expired medicine uh so the dots were all connected pretty well for me what did you think though leave a comment below would love to hear your thoughts on bullseye charlie's angels season one and any of the angels i answer every reply don't forget my little competition if you can figure out what um you know episode and which angel this look is inspired by I would love to hear from you and I will give you a shout out next video. Hey, and don't forget the merch over at bit.ly slash RetroQTV. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I post photos from each and every episode in sequence at uh, RetroQTV. And listen, I promise it won't be so long till next time. Thank you so much for uh, watching and I will catch you soon, angels. Bye. Mm -hmm.